It is said that no man is perfect. This is true. And on top of this, no idea and no book is perfect either. Muslims do themselves a disservice by trying to prove that the Quran is perfect when it contains so many flaws. Doctors, lawyers, teachers and engineers all appreciate the need for a belief to be evidenced properly except for their most important belief, Islam. The Quran claims God made Adam, the first man, out of clay. This is wrong. It is creationism and there is no debate among scientists about creationism as shown by the absence of any article challenging the broad theory of evolution in a peer-reviewed scientific journal. Furthermore, Islamic scholars tend not to use reason, but rather to abuse reason, which is called rationalizing. The rationalizer starts from an assumption and attempts to use distortion and misrepresentation to prove that assumption. The real truth seeker should start from a position of uncertainty, the humble, I don't know, and then base their beliefs on the evidence. So let's look at the evidence. One, he created him from dust. Two, he is the one who created you from clay. Three, you created me from fire and him from clay. Four, we created man from sounding clay, molded from black mud. Five, sounding clay, again. Six, sounding clay, yet again. Seven, he originated the creation of humankind from clay. Eight, he created humankind from sounding clay like pottery. Although there is some debate over exact Arabic to English translations, it is clear that an impartial observer would come to the belief that Muhammad believed that God created a first man, Adam, from clay. This is because it is unreasonable to read metaphors into verses for no other reason than wanting to believe the Quran makes sense. A reader can't just create metaphors when he wants to. This proves the Quran is not the word of God, since Allah wouldn't make such a simple mistake. Therefore, Muslims should not believe in the perfect truth of the Quran.